What's up guys, we're back here, and we're doing some more Slay the Spire modded. We've been getting absolutely destroyed uh, the last couple games. The, all the ones I've recorded today, I don't know if I'm just not doing good, or what's going on? <sighs> Obtain random colorless common card, uncommon card. I think I'm going to take out the cracked core, because that's that we've seen the iron core and stuff. That's how you get hellfire. I think this will make our run a little bit more interesting. Oh, uh, scary mask. Weak as me fleas. That's not that good. I honestly avoid that one a lot. So the weakest enemy in multi-combat fights will flee. So that means we pretty much... It might, over the course of the whole run, like equate to a few things it's the least interesting i'd rather had something you know a little different but we're good channel one water oh that's one we haven't seen and this one so yeah i'll take it we've been wanting different warps i've been looking for them i don't know what it upgraded to what was the non-upgrade okay it has no upgrade so Weird. Alright, Golden Idol. So I guess Rain just didn't have an upgrade? That just kind of sucks. But what did Water do again? Consecutive Water cards. I don't think that's right. I think the Mime and the Deflect uh, word for Rain are conflicting. So, this might be a wash. Fix it by block modifiers. Claw, because it's on sale, could be good. And maybe we'll just lean away from orbs. I think we'll do that in this. And we'll go into something like that. Alright, so he left. It's kind of cool. Animation for it was cool, at least. Because I, I usually do an orb deck when I do the defect. But maybe I'll try, because, yeah, when I do this... Oh, no, we got it. Pass it. So... We're okay then. It's not a complete wash. Like I thought it might be. And the claw though. A uh, time bomb. Channel two orb slots. Gain two glass. Channel one dark. And trigger its passive two times. Well wow, that sounds awesome. The glass isn't that good but. That one's pretty cool. Time bomb will do three passives. So pretty much it'll channel the dark and upgrade it a bunch. Which actually could be good against you. Boom. So I need to push that one forward is what needs to happen. Let me push it forward actually a lot now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, that does nothing. That Grimlin now might not be the best one to be fighting with this. But if I do Rain, I guess. Claw, strike, strike. He's doing 20. That's fine. I want to play the skill. No, I think I'll wait. Whew. Okay. Now that one's ready. Are we going to die? No. Having a second time bomb is kind of what you want for a deck like this. Oh, you're kidding me. I think he'll get me. Yep, 24. We were one card short. Because, yeah, there it is. We'll do it again. I was thinking that one might end up being a wash. Defect. What sucks is we didn't make it to the first boss, so we don't get a good a good trophy here. I'm going to go up this path. Not even going to question it. No, I think Scarier Mask would have been better later floors. Sweeping Beam's good. And we've finally seen some water. It's taken us till now to do it. Okay. Core Surge. Actually. Darkness was a close one, but Core Surge has some stuff you can do with it. When the... Put into your discard pile, shuffle it into your draw pile. I think I'll go with Zap for that. And then we'll upgrade Zap so we can play it more often. Not a bad one. Oh, that one kind of... Kind of a poo draw. Yeah, the artifacting is really good. Chaos. 
I wasn't going for an orb deck, but now I might. So upgraded powers. I think I'll do this one. I've not really done this one. Curse with injury. Upgrade all powers in your deck. Lose random kind of, yeah. So all our powers will now be upgraded, which is kind of cool. Defect has some really good powers, is why it's kind of, kind of leaning towards it. And also, we will be protected from his vulnerability this turn. Oh well, this combat this turn's not the correct word for that. I'm just gonna kind of pump through the damage, I think. Oh, we got a light one. I, I've been wanting to get that one as part of a, uh, you know, a card that actually gives me that. It's one of my, one of the ones I really like. I like the texture for it. If I regen now, it's really nice. Okay. Going not dead. Wasness. Each time you lose HP and combat, gain two target. I like that a lot. And then Rainbow. We got the beginnings of a good orb build. Let's let's do this. Smith. This one. I want the I want the randomness. I've been trying to make a chaos build work for the defect. I don't think we really have done it very successfully yet. Um, let's do strike. Oh, I was gonna defend, but never mind. Rainbow. And then we'll do a defend. The problem with the orb build is you do need that setup time. Okay, energy potion. Leap's a good defensive card. I'm okay with that. Software 2.0. Increase your max. Oh. Obtaining this orb. Increase your max. Interesting. So you can have up to 15 orb slots. But you don't get that many to start with. Okay. Interesting. I, I'm, I'm for it. I'm game. So we do need cards that do give us more orb slots, though, to make, make use of that. We'll do this. Crystal, plasma, rainbow through that. Gain two more energy. And we'll do that. All right, so I want to make this one work. What cards? I'm trying to think of what gives us a bunch of orb slots. Can't think of anything off the top of my head per se. Um, I want this one dead. We will take the nine this turn, but hopefully I can kill this one next turn. That's kind of the idea. We only took seven. But. Same difference. All right, so yes, we can kill this one, and we got some block. We'll only take four. And this one I can probably kill next turn. Well, he'll. Eh, I mean, he won't necessarily die. Oh, I should have dual cast and I could have been done with that. Didn't matter, but. Uh, upgrade two skills. Let's double check here. Blizzard, consume. Lose one orb slot. Actually. Since we can have up to 15. Oh, I actually want to. Rainbow and defend upgraded. I actually want that. Um, I want to go this way only because I might want to rest before that one. Maybe not since it's the Hexaghost, but get the towel. From a choice between two relics. That's pretty cool. Okay. Chaos. Leap. Um, I want to block fully. We're, we're on low HP, so... Oh, let's actually... We have light now. Actually, I'm going to consume the back one. Get some more healing. We're going to gain seven, take six, so we gain one. And now, I'm just going to, uh, oh, does it go, at the end of your turn, heal five, evoke gain seven. I thought it was a little higher than that. Let's move it to the front. Because I want to make use of this. All right, I'm going to gain the regen, defend a bunch, punch you. Oh, crap, I killed him. Echo drought. Played twice. Uh, none of these. Compile dri driver was almost a good option, but. Not necessarily. Oh, dudes. You guys are really coming at me. Actually, I'm, I'm, I messed that up. Uh, I was going to say I could restart, but let's do that. And then we'll hit you. Okay. Alright, give them all vulnerability from Hellfire. Leap. 
And we're still good, yeah. Okay, we are vulnerable. Actually, I think this dual cast gets them close. Sweeping beam kills them. Because of the strength, I guess, from Hellfire. Uh, chill or charge battery? I think chill. I get there one more fight. Oh, you too. He's rough. Especially when you don't get no defensive cards, like, right out of the gate. Um, I could get a buffer, which could... Because I'm going to be taking six. We'll give it one more turn. We might be able to kill him next turn, is the only thing I'm thinking. Rainbow. Dull side. Yeah, okay. Whew. Definitely close. A little closer. Um... The problem is, I don't know if this one won't give us a rest one. Do we go high risk, high reward, or go for the rest? We're going to the Hexagos, though. We'll try this one. We did get the rest, though. Um, yeah. We gotta do it. Like, 26 is way better. We will take a little bit more. Like, we'll have to block for more. But, I think it's gonna be worth it. Yeah, 18 here. But, we got the good. I think I will just keep this because I was going to consume that back one, but I don't think it's worth it yet. Ow. Oh, yeah, and he's going to take all that thorns damage. So that lightning up. Okay, chaos. Sweeping beam. Zap. Oh, we got uh, water in the front. Okay. Trying to make sure I keep a little bit of a block for like burns and stuff. Okay, cutting it a little close here. Um, I think I'll zap, then consume. I've been kind of wanting the extra focus anyway. All right, 17. Ooh. I think you defend. You dual cast. And then you ball lightning. Okay. 14, we got 22. Yeah. Playing by the skin of my pants here. Okay. He's doing eight. Rainbow's not going to really do enough. I'm going to do a leap, actually, and then strike him. <clears throat> All right. He's back to his big one. Oh, you're kidding me. Like, zap. There's, what you plus two? Yeah, you're not gonna really do anything. Buffer. That'll save me six. I don't know if that's really enough though. If I do five more is eleven. Twice is twenty-two plus seven is thirty-one. Nope, I did the math wrong somehow. I think that's it. Oh, no, the thorns got him. Whew. Uh, another rainbow. Uh, plus five ascension levels would be pretty rough. Let me start another turn. I think we'll just take the special sausage. Because we can get two focus. Which is pretty good. I'm going to do another city. Jungle's a little harder. Gosh, he's hard too. As a boss in general. Um, this is an interesting one. Let's go this way. Hello, thieves. You guys usually really hurt a lot. I'm not really a fan of that. But we got that region one first thing, which is pretty nice. Still haven't seen a card to get that one, but <laughs> double rainbow. But we're single rainbow, and we'll do another one of these. Not really. Oh, we got that region too. So, it'll be good. Pretty happy about that. Okay. Core surge. Sweeping beam. Chill. Nice. Streamline. Compile driver. No, I'm thinking good. Okay. One of 20 cards. Yes. Okay. Crystal. Not really. Power surge. Lose three focus. Start again. No. 
Crystal orbs to give additional two for focus. Have yeah, more than half your now. Reflection shuffle one backfire. Not really. Ugh. Then you return exhaust all common cards in your hand. Nope. At one day's exhaust two. Still no. None of these were really that impressive. Like the best one I'm seeing maybe is Cold Snap. But that doesn't really seem, you know, that impressive. I guess Crystal Conduit will also give us a random one. So we'll take that. We need to upgrade it, though, to make it really worth it. Obtain a random starter relic. Okay. You lose HP. Equals to gain a random potion. No. Okay, that one's pretty good. What are you? It is innate for the next combat. Again, not really that crazy. I think we'll do Nostalgia. And we got Iron Core, which adds Hellfire. Okay. I think because of that, gain two orb slots if you have none. Interesting. Okay. I don't know how you know good that is, but I think it just gives us strength every time we evoke it, so it's not bad. And I think... Let's actually buy the rug, because now I can sell this. I can sell this. Um, I can sell this. Oh, I can't sell that one. That gives us a little bit of money here. And I'll buy that. Okay. Pretty happy with that. Um, gain one ritual, lose five HP. And five HP is nothing. That's fine. Curse with Rise. Sure, we didn't get the curse. Nice. We are stacking up some relics this time, finally. Alright, you guys are going to be really annoying. Get that rainbow out early. A little bit more damage. Okay. So we gain one ritual, which is... <clears throat> As you start your turn, gain one strength. I like that. So as weird as it is, we end up having more of a, uh, like, a strength-focused deck than, like, it's like a mixture of strength and orbs. So I think stuff like Ball Lightning might end up being a little better than what I would expect. And then tons of block. Yep. And then dual cast. Yes. We, again, though, are very low on health. Like, every time we play, it's, like, right against the grain. Oh, Ornamental Fan. Or Hummingbird Heart. 50% less damage from attacks. I think that's better than the Ornamental Fan. Yes. Block Potion again. Lemon Break, not good. <laughs> that's because we have the Iron Core. Well, could be good, but I don't think so. Evoke your next channel orb. No, I don't think we need these ones. Okay, I kind of want to rest again, but feels like the childish way out. I think instead, I'm going to upgrade Crystal Conduit. Make it actually give us a random orb. Kind of, as long as we don't get a bunch of crystal, it's actually really good. All right, we have the hovering effect. So they're doing no damage to start with. Interesting. Look at him, look at him move though. All right, so we got six damage to start with. Sweeping beam. Um, I can't rainbow, so kill him. All right, so the hovering will stop this turn. Yeah, that's actually a, a cool one. Like, oh, another hellfire on the back. So we can do that and no more. 13 plus, okay, we'll be good. Now, the crystal's not a bad thing to have. It's just an odd one. There we go. Uh, no. Rip and tear was almost a thought, though. I think here's where we want. Tiger marble. Room card, which, into your hand, which exhaust. Zero until played, or blood vial. I think I'll take blood vial. We're taking a lot of damage, so the passive healing's kind of nice. All right, I think we'll go this way, too. Ooh, not what I wanted. You kind of suck. Okay. 
I thought about doing the zap, but I still need to upgrade it. All right, confusion could really mess us up here. Just in terms of like what it'll do to us. If I would have had that, I could have kept the confusion off of us. Oh, we keep the freaking strength though. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this is definitely block potion time. All right. And then zero zap. I guess I could block for this. Dual cast the Hellfire, which gives him six vulnerable and gives me eight strength. Which goes away though. I just gotta remember that. Chill. One drop rainbow. You're dead. Nice. And they gain four up slots. It's good. It's really good. Because we can hold so many. Um. I'll look at the map again. Yeah, we still have time to rest again. So, when I risk it for the biscuit, get another smith in here. Um. We're not using consume a lot. I think the zap actually should be upgraded. Finally. Ooh, another one. Dentures or faulty coupler. Play a power, add a copy of your discard pile 50% of the time. Do we have any powers in our deck yet that are any good? Um, that one's pretty good, but it's a two cost. What do you do? Whenever an orbit sellers for it to fuse with a copy I mean, I have to see what that does. <sighs> the elite could kill us. I'm not going to do it. Not at 20 health. Like, there's... we. I want to survive and see, you know, what we're doing. Four orb slots, then block, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and since we have the Hellfire to start off with, Core Surging... Gives us a bunch of extra strength when it tries to leave at the end of the turn. Alright, he's doing 16, so <clears throat> that right there. Rainbow that out. And then Crystal Conduit. Got a lot of block, and, uh, not block, a lot of defense right there. All right, we want to cold. Oh, he's doing 30. Seems a little excessive, man. I mean, I know I, I beat her up, but. We got 16, 20, 24, 28. He's doing 30. So I'll take the two. And he about killed himself when he did it. So I'll do that and hit him for 20. Dang, we got 14 strength. Um, no, I don't think so. Almost went with hologram, which has been an odd one to do, but. All right, he's doing four damage to start with. So if I do this, plus a cold snap, that's all the defense we need. All right, ball lightning. He's going to get really annoying really quickly. So I kind of want to hammer out some damage onto him. Alright, we're not hovering anymore, so I need to keep that in mind. Um, I can kill him. Alright, so we're down to the Chosen. And with as many orb slots, we keep them for so long now? I like it. Yeah, look. Amalgamate. Oh, what are you? So, you look like a lightning and a frost? At the end of a turn, deal 5 damage to a random enemy. At the end of a turn, gain 4 block. Oh. Okay. And then if I rainbow, I didn't get any more amalgams, but I still have that one. Okay. I was trying to get a bunch more, honestly. Ooh, I thought, I thought we were going to take a ton of damage. Wasn't paying attention to uh, how much damage he was really doing. Strike and block. All right, let's make sure that we're doing good. Four, eight, 12. Yeah, 17. Now that's that's a cool item. This is what I kind of wanted to see when I did this. Whew, 31 damage would have been hard to overcome. Defrag. Oh, Crystal Con Defrag. It's definitely defrag. And him, I have to rest. I don't have a choice in the matter. He shoots through our block. 
So this is actually like a, uh, I need to take him out fast if I can. Okay, that's not a bad one. All right. Defrag early. I think we'll consume also and chill. I wanted to stack up the focus. All right. Sweeping beam. Cold snap. I'm getting a lot of defensive stuff, but like I got a ton of frost. Also, our frost is like weirdly offset, which is kind of odd. Do that. That. This. Oh, we get a bunch of extra orb slots for that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how you get perfect on this guy. Uh, unless you just won on turn one. Since he shoots through. Ooh, we got an amalgam. Uh, yeah, it's the lightning and the frost one. And once he gets really low, he load can 50 damage. That's nuts. Because he's going to do 25 to me. Oh, crap. I need to hit him one more time. Okay. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. I'm going to take the block. I think we're going to go down to... Well, I didn't need to take that, actually. We had to. I think we're going to go down to 2. If I did my math right. He didn't shoot through our thing. Interesting. I thought he shot through our defenses. Waste of a block, but... We got some going now. By bias cognition. Keep that five focus. We just gotta use it correctly. Start your turn forever. 100 gold. Below 500. The random buff. Gain 100 gold. Eh. But the extra energy would be so good. Because the first time we took the iron core. Uh, four. For every 100 gold below 500. And we would be up to three. So they'd have two random buffs. I think that's what we want to go with, though. Factory Beyond. I want to go Beyond. Factory is too hard. It's too glitchy. We're doing too well to risk it for the biscuit. We've done enough risking it. So they got a random buff. Two might. I'll tax deal for the next two turns. Okay. And the buffs sometimes don't... Uh, they don't stack. They don't, like... He has one artifacting... But it's not like a... And he has two of this and he has that. Okay. That wasn't that bad. Alright. Four damage here. The hovering really helps. Like the decreased damage on the first couple turns. Is a great thing to have. Okay. And then we'll just defend. Like it helps me very much to get set up. Something like the anchor would also be really good for this. Crystal Conroy, Rainbow. Um, I think he just this, this, and Rainbow. Oh, yeah. That's how you get all these amalgams. I don't think we could get, like, a Hellfire Frost one. As cool as it would be. All right. Defrag, Zap, Sweeping Beam. Um, we can't do Biased Cognition. I don't think we're close enough to the end, though, to make it worth it. Okay, and you took all that vulnerability. All right. I think we're at the point where our de defense is keeping up enough with our offense. All right, we're going to do that because that's what we should do. Oh, we killed him, apparently. Maybe we're stronger than I think we are. Uh, none of these. I, won't, I just want to keep consistent. All right. Ooh, we're almost up to 500, so we'll be good. First month, combat, eh. Yeah, I think we'll go st Sticky Explosive for some of those AoE fights. Oh, dude, you're going to have a problem. Like, now that I can do, like, rainbow and stuff with it all. Oh, this is a, a double, a double frost. That's awesome. I'm really liking the amalgams. Might be one of my new favorite relics. Okay. Core surge. Let's do sweeping beam. Zap. Crystal conduit. Oh, we already killed him. Gain two shielding for every three cards in your discard pile. And now. Cold snap again. And now. Looking for something a little, a little crazier. 
<laughs> the defects like crouch still gets me. I find it very funny. We're gonna take it what a little bit this turn. Crystal conduit, chaos. Ball lightning on you. Strike on you. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, it might have made more sense to add that other uh, cold snap. Be only for the fact that we gain so much for Hellfire and we do so much extra damage. We also pop bikes cognition that turn. We need to keep that in mind. Core surge, dead. Okay, loop, I think. Yeah. Loop's just a good one. We grabbed the frozen egg at the beginning and haven't really used it that much. Transform two. Upgrade two random cards. Lose 40 gold. Um, let's just, yeah, do the two upgrades. That's fine. Um, upgrade elite, I think. Just keep, keep upgrading all the cards, I think. No, I was hoping he'd get more artifacting. I think I want the rainbow not to exhaust, though. Okay. Ooh, time collector. He's gonna trash our deck very quickly. Okay. Oh, we do have a... You can get this amalgam. So it's a lightning fire amalgam. Gosh dang, man. So you ro rose me to 30. Ugh. Reduce all costs. No, that doesn't help. Okay, and I guess we'll do that. Okay. So we're not hovering anymore. We can take full damage now. Rainbow. I guess we'll just play that just because. Okay. Still not doing too bad. There's a uh, Hellfire Lightning one. Even though we added a bunch of cards, I still feel like a good level of consistency. Oh, he did hit us though. Boot sequence. I guess we'll do that. I don't want to do that one. Shuffle all all rare or non-status cards in your discard pile. I mean, I guess I could play this. Uh, oh, we have to do type or rare. Let's just do type, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what that meant. I mean, that's fine. I guess I could play the one strikeout, but not too concerned. Pair. I didn't read the other one. The other one was bottled egg. You don't get them both. Fuse all your orbs. Exhausted too. Yes. Yeah. Oh man, we have we have something. I'll give you that. Not as good of a hand for the first hand. All right, so I want to fill this up pretty quickly. Consume, defend. I'm wondering what this is going to do. Okay. Oh, crap. I don't have what I need to do this. I want to retain this card so bad. I guess we'll do it just to see. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, pro the, the main problem with this is you can't tell. Ooh, he blew up for 30. I didn't realize he was going to do that. Uh, is that they're all stacked together, so it's hard to uh, read it. I really don't want to hit you. I really want to let this this orb of death kill you. We did take a bunch when that bomb exploded, though. It is innate. Next kind. No, I don't need no more innate card. Uh, no. I almost took that leap just because. Gift box. I want rare card to your deck. Pocket watch. I think we'll do the gift box. Vision, yeah. It's a great one. Alright, you're gonna be annoying. Alright, I know that. And then we'll consume the back one. It's not a very exciting first turn, but... It's fine. Loop. Rainbow. Polymerization. Chill. Alright. Should have chilled first, but... <laughs> Oh man, 14 strength, 16 damage every turn. Uh, darkness, damage by 11 increase. 
It's something. Oh, look, <laughs> look at our orbs, the way they're stacked. 49 damage for that one strike. Yeah. This is why I like modded. You get to some level of absurdity that's just fun. Uh, get that. Yeah, we, we have a gain of 56 strength every turn. I'm just going to... Oh, wait. I probably can't kill him with that. I don't know how many orb slots I have left. Like... I was afraid that would happen. 16 stacks of vulnerability, though. And plus 56 strength. Like... Yeah, this one does 32 strength per turn. Yeah, I'm just going to punch you to death. Uh, I don't need additional cards. We'll go with Gambling Chip. Get a cooler first turn. Don't need any of those. Uh, yeah. Do that. Ooh, we got you. You are not fun for me. Drop these, these, this, and I think I'm going to just drop all that. Okay, that, that, 15 damage to you. Okay. So we'll take eight. Could have used the attack potion, I guess, to get a little better on him. Uh, consume, zap, core surge, strike. Yeah, we do need a little time to set up here. All right, 25 here. We're doing 16 each time. A little bit more. Yeah, he's not doing anything. It's weird since we hover, our orbs don't always come all the way down. It's like we have to reset through them first. Oh yeah, crystal conduit. Um, zap, polymerization. How much does this do now? Forty damage a turn. I think we're good. <laughs> Man. Ah, uh, and my str my strength's only at a plus eight this turn. Yeah, I don't even need to do anything. Oh, we had another amalgam in the back. Thunderstrike. Ah, uh, nah. Not not what this deck is about. Okay. Like, let's remove all this garbage. Defrag's pretty good. Good opening hand. Q Q zap, and we'll dual cast the front one. Okay, we're gonna take five. Ow. Oh, I guess we took half a five. Specifically. Now, okay, here's the problem. I want a core surge and bioscognition. That means we're gonna take a bunch of damage. Still think it's the best thing to do here. And then I think I'll try this attack potion. Omega. Oh to all enemies, well. Let's just do that. No reason to do anything else. Okay, we are low on health though. Lose chaos, no. Lose 93 gold. Lose the strength potion and we gain preserved insect. Literally useless. Okay. What do you have here? Aggregate now. Oh, you have stuff down here. Whenever you rest, upgrade a card. Could be good. Healing's 50% more effective now. Huh. I don't think we're going to take anything. Actually, we'll take the energy potion. That puts us still above 500, so the boss shouldn't get any more buffs. And the fact that uh, we get the energy potion. And I think we should go for the bonfire. Let's do it. Trash from card. Alright, we'll rest. It's the lame thing to do at the last one, but... I don't want to uh, not get this. Lose one focus. Can I go below zero? Okay. Crystal conduit consume. This is a good good first turn. Yeah, I think we'll just do this. Oh, he has a bunch of lightning. But I would like to gain that first. And I don't think I'm going to play that armor yet. Ow. Because we got the hover. I don't want to choose two cards to transform. Do I have to? Interesting. Was that way he did? That's a weird one. Okay, dude. Now we can uh, start really having some fun. Okay. 
Oh, we got a baby Sneka. Do I have to transform two cards every freaking time? It's gonna get really weird then. Okay. Good thing I have a little bit of power here. Uh, let's get the lightning out. Polymerization? Oh, I should have upgraded that stupid card. It's fine. Oh, we're confused now, though. Which kind of sucks. Ugh, it's going to make my hand a little worse. Ugh, the strike would have been good to keep, though. Yeah, we'll do that. Unfortunately. Uh, do I buy his cognition? No, I don't think I do. This is a hard one to play. Stack. I think I still... No, I don't want to... Because I got these two amalgams. I don't want to fish in it. Okay. Yeah, we have bump befuddled too, is what it's called. Crap. And we're getting, like, shat on for terms of, like, what to transform in our, our uh, confusion types right now. <sighs> I could turbo, I guess. And then play the zap. Because, like, I'm dealing at, like, 100 dam damage each turn. Grand Sneko just has a lot of health. Oh, you made a Grand Mystic? Well, it's not going to last very long. Transform this one. Transform that one. Rainbow. Crystal Conduit. Zap. And then another Crystal Conduit. Yeah. <laughs> I could Fission and gain a bunch of cards and a bunch of energy. What would be the goal in that? To finish the fight, maybe? What Amalgam do I have? No, that one's pretty good. We'll, we'll continue. Might have killed him, actually, but... We're getting close to the end. Beam cell stack. Don't need them. Ball lightning. Bias cognition. Sweeping beam. You're dead. Whew, we didn't get as much strength that time. We didn't get as many hellfires as some of the other ones. Ah, oh, dang. Long time coming. We've had a lot of bad runs today. But that's another win with the defect. So I hope you guys did enjoy. That was a fun one. I had a lot of fun with that. Um, if you did, you can hit that like button. Or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.